Hey, it's me, Nalthazar, and welcome to another episode of Deck Building Showcase. So this one is for my Big Chief deck. Now, Big Chief is a giant deck. I finally got Realm Cloak Giant. I've been wanting this card for a while, and I finally pulled it. So Realm Cloak Giant is an adventure, and the spell portion is going to destroy all non-giants, and the creature portion is a 9-9 with Selective Vigilance. So naturally, I thought, you know what? This needs to be paired with other giants. We need to go big. So we've got Realm Cloak Giant. We've got Beanstalk Giant. Beanstalk flips, or it's an adventure, you know, and is going to convert gems to green. And we've got Primeval Titan. So we've got a ton of green gem conversion. The Titan's going to get us lands. The lands are going to convert to green. They're going to make big Beanstalk Giants. All non-giants are going to get dropped on by a Realm Cloak Giant and cast off. And that's really the deck. So for lands, we've got Castle Garenbrig, we've got Gingerbread Cabin, and Nissus Pilgrimage. Just all green conversion. I know that the Pilgrimage isn't a land, but it's a support that's converting for us. For Creature Fetch, you'll see that I'm not going with Killer Instinct here. That is because... It does not allow us to cast the spell portion of Adventures. So for that, we've got Court of Calling and Once Upon a Time. I love Once Upon a Time with Adventures, by the way. So if you have this card, try it out with Adventures. It's pretty cool. Then we've got Death Sprout, Killing Stuff and whatnot, and Nissa's Revelation. So with that, that's really the deck. We're drawing cards, we're getting the Giants, and we're dropping on people. So there's a little bit of a story behind this, so I figure... As we play through the match, and as you get to see the deck run, you can hear a little bit of the story behind Big Chief. So, let's get into it and uh, show our Botos a little bit about Big Chief. Now, there once was a Big Chief, and this Big Chief was renowned for his wisdom and his silence. He was beloved by all. His son was his speaker, and one day the big chief had a terrible illness. Everyone was very worried, and so they brought in the local witch doctor. The witch doctor took a look at the chief and said, Well, what's wrong? To which the chief's son and speaker said, Big chief, no fart. So the witch doctor thought long and hard about this problem and came up with an excellent solution. He brewed a potion, he took all of his herbs, he put them together, and he gave it to the chief's son. The chief's son took the potion and gave it to his father and nothing happened. The witch doctor then said, well, that was all I can do. So... The son called in another witch doctor, and then another, and another, and another, and another. But none of the witch doctors could help the beloved chief. So finally, they had to resort to something that they were hoping against hope they would not have to do. They called in a western doctor. The western doctor rolled in and said, So, what's going on? Tell me about it. To which the chief's son looked at the doctor and said, Big chief, no fart. So the doctor thought for a moment and said, You know what? I know just a thing for that. I was hoping to save these for later, but let's try it out. So the doctor pulled a can of beans out of his briefcase and gave it to the chief and said, I want you to eat these. Eat these and I'll come back tomorrow and we'll see how things are going. So... The big chief ate them, the doctor left, and came back the next day. And the doctor came back, and there was the chief sitting in the same place with his son. And he said, so, how'd it go? And the chief's son looked at him again and said, Big chief, no fart. So the doctor said, hey, you know what? Not to worry. It can take a little bit of time sometimes. This time, let's try two cans of beans. So he gave them two cans of beans. And, once again, Chief ate the beans, the doctor left, came back, said, So, 
how'd it go? And the chief's son said, Big chief, no fart. But the doctor was not to be deterred. He had a plan for this. He said, you know what? That's okay. We can still solve this. Let's give him three cans of beans. This should definitely do the trick. So the doctor gave him the cans. The chief ate them. The doctor left and came back the next day. And once again, there was the chief and his son. And the son once again said, Big chief, no fart. So the doctor was like, all right, you know what? I was, I was worried about this, but that's okay. This calls for drastic measures. So the doctor pulled out of his case this time, well, an entire case full of beans. And the chief's son looked at the doctor and the doctor said, I know, I know it's a lot, but I want him to eat all of these. And then I'll come back after the weekend and everything should be fine. So the doctor enjoyed his weekend off and he came back and checked in on the chief and he rolled on in and it was just the chief's son. And the doctor was ecstatic. He was thrilled. This is great. You mean to tell me it worked. I'm so happy to hear that. And the, the chief's son looks at the doctor and a single tear falls down his face as he looks at the doctor and says, Big fart. No, chief. And that is the story behind this deck. That is why this deck works. It's because sometimes you need just a little bit of a giant-sized explosion. You, need, you just need a little bit of that in your life. Like that little giant size explosion is going to give you everything that you want from a deck. And that's what this deck is. It's a big chief that's going to finally get that satisfactory explosion and no one can do anything darned about it. It's pretty fun, pretty powerful. If you've got the cards, give it a shot. See you in the next one.